Hey, this is Gary. Welcome to Cubase Academy. Today I'm going to go over how to do the Andrew Sheps rear bus technique, but I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail. A quick search will come up with many, many videos and articles on how and why Andrew Sheps came up with this technique. I'm just going to focus on a way to do it in Cubase that I think might be a little faster than some of the other examples you might have seen on the internet. So let's get started. I have a simple project here. What I've done is I've taken um, a project of an artist I'm currently working with, and I've taken all the subgroups and just distilled them down to tracks. So we have a track for all the vocals, all the guitars, all the keyboards, strings, bass, and drums. So if I bring this up in my mixer, you'll see that um, I also have a rear bus uh, channel ready to go volume all the way down and a submix. So the rear bus is nothing more than a group channel. Okay, so currently all of my uh, groups here, all of my tracks here, sorry, go into the submix. Now, in order to send things to the rear bus, there's the, the way that you'll see most people do it is they go to a send, um, they, they basically take their sends there we go, couldn't find it. And you send this uh, to the rear bus. Okay, turn it on. And now whatever level you send here will go into the rear bus. So the uh, track itself, if we just look at the vocal track, the, the vocal track that I have selected here, the track itself is going to two targets. It's going to... Um, Submix and it's going to the rear bus, but I'll tell you how because uh, I have this in here this rear bus here, so I'm going to turn it off because I'm not doing it that way. My preferred method is slightly different Okay In the mixer and this might be useful for other things for you in the mixer here in I've got the f3 mixer up here Here I've got turned on direct routing summing mode on and what that does is it allows me to say okay <clears throat> here in, in the direct, uh, and you might want to turn that on in your racks here, direct routing. So in my direct routing, I have all these tracks going to the submix, and I have these four tracks going to the rear bus. Now, the logic, why, why don't they all go to the rear bus? So you send everything to the rear bus except the bass and drums, although some people send base and it's totally up to you you'd have to just try it out and see the other thing about this technique is it's better if you have it in the beginning and you mix into it rather than add it on at the end <clears throat> which is what i'm doing you'll see why in just a second that it would have been better if i'd have done the mix into it um so let's get started on the actual technique so on the rear bus i need a compressor however the trick to this is you need two mono compressors, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. If you have a stereo compressor that can be decoupled to left and right, then you can just use that. And that's the end of the story. You just put that on the channel. I don't have one. And I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have one. So I'm going to go to my inserts again. And I'm going to use for this example, the CLA 76 mono. Okay. So I've just added a mono uh, a compressor into this channel, and it's only affecting the left-hand side. Uh, I can demonstrate that, because if I play the track, yeah, and let's go ahead and just bring up the submix, oh, excuse me, the rear bus mix. Let's turn this down. Now, if I kill the volume on this, you can hear that it's only coming out of the right channel because the, this processing is only affecting the left channel. You'll also notice that I'm only feeding these four tracks into the submix. So you're hearing the mix without the bass and without the drums. So let's stop that for a second. Um, I'm going to set this up just a little bit. Um, I'm just eyeballing this and then you have to kind of to taste. You don't want a lot of compression 
using this technique, you really want uh, maybe one and a half to three dB gain reduction. Again, like I said, tons and tons and tons of other videos out there and, and articles on how to do it. However, in Cubase, this um, you know th this is the issue we're going to solve today. Is if it only routes to the left channel, what do I do? Well, let me make a copy of this by holding down the Alt key and just clicking and dragging down. Now I've got an identical copy to that, so the settings are the same. However, they're both pointing to the left channel. So here is the trick, and this is not, I don't think, completely obvious in Cubase, uh, unless you've read every page of every manual, maybe. But here, at the bottom of my, so this is my channel settings window, uh, which you bring up by using the little E button on all the channels. Here at the bottom, there's a routing tab. And you can see now the routing of each of the plugins. So this, they're both pointing to the left. So let me go into this, and you see it's mono. I'm going to open the routing table, routing editor, and I'm just going to flip to the other channel. OK. Now one's handling the left channel, and one handling the right channel. Now the possibilities with this are really interesting because you could put two reverbs on and have one handling the left channel and one the right, or a delay on the left, a delay on the right, and so on and so on. You could essentially make two entire chain of effects for the left and the right channels. That has some potential there. But anyway, so now I have these two, and if we were to play the track, just the... Uh well, ambition's a funny thing. Okay, and um, here's the right one. Cause I'm not looking for a reason All I want to do is sing Okay they say so my I got a little compression here last. That's probably okay for this example but I'm living in Obviously you'll need to play around so with it And get the right Okay, so we're going to take this back down And bring up the actual tracks Okay Now we're going to ease in Cause you know I have not Now you can hear it's adding volume in, which is why you should really mix into this um, from the very beginning. So you might have to bump up your bass and drums to compensate. But let me just let this run for a minute here. And I'm going to uh, restart the track. No, I'm, I'm going to mute this. And make sure you've taken every opportunity. Now, obviously, the volume drops down, but some of the energy drops out too. And you can make this as aggressive as you want. Anyway, that's the technique I wanted to show you. So, again, the key to this is that uh, routing here in the uh, rear bus. Go to the routing tab or, or any of these channels. You can do this. It doesn't have to be a rear bus technique. You can use this routing, insert routing, for anything you want. I hope you found this useful. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much, and talk to you next time.